<laughs> Absolutely, Shane. And before we jump around the league, we're going to – I held off to wait for you to talk about this, Wood. But, you know, I did want to start off this show – I thought this was pretty interesting. I don't know if you've seen this, Shane, but as of right now, going into week seven of the SEC, there are six teams right now in the league that control their destiny. And we got a couple of them going head-to-head this weekend. So – I just thought to uh, share this little nugget with you, Shane. It kind of adds to the weekend that, that is here in the SEC. And, of course, two of those six meeting in Athens, Georgia and Kentucky, both undefeated. Mm. They're, they control their own destiny, obviously. They, either one wins out, they're going to the SEC championship game. But how about this, Shane? I don't know if you're aware of this, but them Tennessee Vols, they also <laughs> control their destiny – to Atlanta, and uh, that's hard to believe. Those are the only three teams in the East right now that control their destiny. How surprised are you to find that out? That is unusual. I didn't even think of it that way. I'm trying. That's. Do you have the six teams? Because I'm going Ooh. through my head. I couldn't figure them all out. What do you got here? Who who controls their own destiny, Mike? Yeah. Okay. So again, in the East, Georgia, Kentucky, and Tennessee, and then mm-hmm. out west. Like I said, we got another head-to-head one here, Shane. Alabama, I know they lost, but mm-hmm. Alabama controls their own destiny. And they are playing at Mississippi State this weekend. Mississippi State controls their destiny in the SEC West. So, you know, a little added intrigue to that one. And finally, them Auburn Tigers, Shane, who mm-hmm. I know I was sleeping on them all off season, but still coming off uh, the loss to Georgia, they control – They've not lost to a single mm. SEC West opponent. So, how about it, Shane? Alabama, Auburn, and Mississippi State in the West. Georgia, Kentucky, and Tennessee in the East. And that's not to say that, uh, you know, w- the rest of the teams I've not mentioned have been eliminated by any means, but right. they just don't control their destiny. They need other teams to lose, if that makes sense. Think about that, man. Think about that. It is October 12th. We're recording this, and those teams still have a fighting shot to get into an SEC championship. Wake up, gamblers. If you're wanting to take a long (laughs) shot right now, pick one of these six teams to win the SEC. And don't pick the obvious ones because one of these guys could be the one. Hell, it could be any one of these teams. I'm not closing the book on Tennessee. I know they got Georgia. I know we got Alabama. But, man, you want to talk about a long shot? Yeah. But it's still a shot. So, I love that, man. I I did not realize it was that many teams. And if you would have told me, Mike, you know, second week of October, Tennessee would still control their own destiny, I would have said, you are crazy. If you told me second week of October and Auburn still controlled their destiny, I would have called you an idiot. Mm -hmm. Think about that, man. There's a lot of programs that are surprising people this year. And anything could happen, baby. Anything. If if that Alabama-Texas A&M game told us anything could happen. Right, and if Alabama loses another one, again, I I know that's probably not likely, but wouldn't be – Why not? Why not? Why not? Just pile it on, Mike. (laughs) If Alabama loses another one, Shane, that cracks the door open for both Ole Miss and Texas A&M to control their Mm -hmm. destiny. So, again, this is a a long way from being decided, and, you know, that's the way it should be. I Here in recent years, I've hated it when we've got – you know, I'm no, no disrespect to these schools, but Alabama, Georgia, and it's November 1, and they're already locked yep. into meeting in Atlanta. You know, I mean, that's just mm-hmm. not fun for the sport, I don't think. So, mm-hmm. uh, I love the fact that we got nearly half the league here controlling their destiny, The, you know, half the league a game away out. So, you know, I, I think it just adds so much hype and fun to this weekend because, like you said, who knows what we're going to get if uh, – the season we've had so far has taught us anything. It says this is going to be a wild season. You know what? Absolutely. That's what I want, Mike, a two-loss SEC champ. <laughs> <laughs> we'll expand those playoffs the next year. 